Business is the engine that keeps the world turning. It's the source of products, livelihoods, and opportunities. Hi, I'm Terry Bradshaw. Whether your focus is B2B or B2C, join me as we explore some of today's leading enterprises. It takes a lot of coordination to ensure supplies are in place to meet demand and to move products from one point to another. Here's a solution. Every year, barges move over a billion barrels of petroleum and half as many barrels of chemicals across the United States inland waterway system. At nearly 300 feet long, some of today's barges have double the capacity of earlier barges. But the industry is often challenged by less than perfect weather putting many of these ships and the goods they carry at risk. High and low water, for example, require different loading levels, which can impact service and pricing. To limit flooding and aid in transportation, much of the waterway system consists of locks and dams. At Gunnersville Marine, no day is ever the same. Our top priority is to assist in any emergency services. We also work barge traffic north and southbound into our facility. We also assist our local industry to meet their needs. Located in Guntersville, Alabama, Guntersville Marine provides stevedoring services. These services include the fleeting and switching of inland water barges carrying cargo from port to port on the Mississippi, Ohio, and Tennessee River, as well as the navigable tributaries. Gunnersville Marine Incorporated operates at mile 358 on the Tennessee River. Uh, we operate a full service terminal there owned by General Marine Services and together with Gateway Co-Packing we offer logistics, transportation, processing and a full range of services to our clients. In addition to barge fleeting and switching, Guntersville Marine provides warehouse and unloading services for companies in the southeast U.S. The company also provides loadout services and will load barges for movement to any destination on the inland waterway. Customers choose Gunnersville Marine because there is no substitute for experience. We work close with them to meet their every need. The river industry is as old as our country and it's a constant reminder as to what's worked in the past still continues to work today. While the average tow consists of 15 barges, Flotillas can carry up to 40, depending on the type of cargo, the river segments being navigated, and the size of the towboat. Smaller tributaries like the Alabama River, however, can only support a four-barge tow because of the varying width and meandering nature of the river. To make matters worse, the Alabama's locks are only 84 feet wide. The inland waterway system allows products to move throughout the country from New York to Chicago, from Chicago to New Orleans, and even we've got the inland waterway systems that are the Snake and Columbia that feed the Pacific Northwest ports. With each project, Guntersville Marine begins with a map of the inland waterway system and views the river system as it crosses the United States. The company says the geography is important in understanding the movement of commerce, the development of cities, and the location of bridges and dams, railroads, and highways. Working with GMI has been a very good experience that they take a look at what the schooler company's needs are and the products and quality that we have coming at them. They're ready to grow and work with our business. They take a look at what kind of equipment is necessary to make the business happen, and that's how we move forward. Of the hundreds of millions of tons moved on the inland waterways, more than half are moved on the Mississippi River, while over a third travel the Ohio River. With access to most of the nation, the Tennessee River is the only navigable waterway in the U.S. that flows from south to north. There's approximately 50 million tons of product shipped on the Tennessee River each year. Gunners from Marine has a fleet at unloading and loading facilities. We're a midway point between Paducah, Kentucky and Knoxville, Tennessee. The future of our industry more than anything else, I think we're resilient. The people that work the river are like the people that farm our lands. They're exposed to turbulence and the weather changes all the time, and it makes us more adaptable. And I think that's what we bring to our clients. <laughs>